I get 500 to 1,000 likes on each picture. <gasps> what? 500 to 1,000 likes on each picture. Stop the cap. <laughs> Say less, let's get it. What's going on YouTube viewers? This is your dude Head of Miss Dragon coming at you with this video. I know my live stream did not go exactly as I planned and um, don't worry guys I'm here to make things better. It's Christmas. I really don't want to leave a bad taste in guys mouth. You guys were expecting me to react to both Sniper Wolf and to the other video of martial arts but don't worry guys live streaming is different and I will get back to that but I will do it next time Next Saturday, I'm going to schedule an next streaming, but this time I'm actually going over the settings. And uh, let's just say, next Saturday you will not be disappointed. As for this Navidad, we're going to go straight on to the video. This thing cannot fit on my head for the life of me. Oh, well, not it. Anyway, back to what we were doing before. If you guys have not already seen it, you guys, I was trying to react to this during my live stream, but. Uh, a little technical difficulties. I was I'm new to this live stream and things, so now I'm gonna go ahead and react to it now. And I am feeling all kinds of ways right now because I'm looking at my screen. At least up here, you guys can see Sniper Wolf is choking herself. So let's go ahead and get on to it. Can't breathe without Wi-Fi. It feels like I'm dying. This is a real thing. Oh, I'm hat. very serious. I'm completely obsessed with social media. It's very hard to have conversations in real life. Also, one thing, guys, we are going back on to what we were reacting to before, which is quite recently, actually. Um, we were actually we were, we're going back on to what we were doing, which was uh, Sniper Wolf reacting to this girl who apparently cannot live without Wi-Fi. And uh, we're going to see how this is going to go and what do Dr. Phil has to say about this. Oh, girl, I feel you. Why talk to somebody in real life when you could just text them? It's so much easier to just text message or Facebook. Okay, text, but Facebook. Facebook. I do get panic attacks when I leave my house and there's no Wi-Fi. I don't know about you, but where I'm from, we got something called LTE. You don't need Wi-Fi. Damn, when I was in Peru... I had LTE in the middle of nowhere. No excuses. When someone tries to take away my phone. The frick is LTE. What? What the? Like that. But dang, what is LTE? I, I need to know. Put down in the comments down below. Please. I get so tense. I will resist. I will yell and I will scream. phone away she a grown ass woman and you got her mom like let me see your phone she gonna pull out the death screech <laughs> typical day for me yeah you should call the exorcist because she pretty much just literally no no better no at that point it's about time she's getting a little bit you want like a child okay like a child let me stop before you guys start thinking of being a pervert me and then i wake up <laughs> at six o'clock in the morning i go straight to my phone and i check my facebook and all of a sudden i feel happy six o'clock you would think somebody that spends their whole day on social media got that flip sleep schedule where they go to sleep at six o'clock but no i gotta be bright and early to get all those likes on facebook got you I'm allergic to this shit. The only reason for me to get out of bed is because- That's funny because my BS meter went ding! <laughs> I mean, I feel like she has no problem getting out of bed. Did someone say food? I isolate myself pretty much every day and I love isolating myself because I don't have to- Back to what I was saying, I'm sorry for pausing it. Forgive me about that, but I had to go ahead and put in my two cents from before. From from before the live streaming. Literally during the live streaming, you guys couldn't catch on to that. Put down in the comments down below, what do you do when you wake up early in the morning? I mean, and you can put down go back to sleep if you want. But I said I actually would go like work out just a little bit, do like a little bit of like 
warm ups just to warm my body up for stretches, some something like that. Water, of course. Speaking of which, to deal with anyone's feelings. I want to know what she does on Facebook all day. How can you spend all day on Facebook? What is going on that is so damn interesting? I don't have to deal with anyone telling me not to use my phone, and I love it. If you love it, why are you on Dr. Phil? Just live your damn life. Oh, hold on. Are you the one that ordered that big bag of attention? I feel like oh, my self esteem oh, is very high because of the amount of likes I get on Facebook and the amount of attention. I apologize. I just realized something. I can tell you guys can't see Sniper Wolf. Let me go ahead and stop for a second and go back to it. I apologize. Let me stop. <laughs> I literally <laughs> did not notice. I was in front of Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Guys, I apologize. I know you wanted to see Sniper Wolf reaction too. I apologize. I literally was just trying to get things back to going and I forgot I was literally blocking this beautiful, gorgeous woman over here. I apologize, guys. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Can I get on Facebook? It feels like a rush to me. Okay. So <laughs> all day is post selfies. <laughs> And racking them likes. The amount of tension I get on yeah. Facebook feels like a rush to me. Same, but with like Fortnite wins. Ain't no better rush. I don't care if you a meth head. There is no better rush than winning solo in Fortnite. Like that shit got your hands sweaty, shaking, and ooh, heart beating hella quick. <laughs> but the same thing happens to her when she sees ooh, 26 likes on my pick. Ooh, ooh. Um. I think at that point, everybody has that feeling. When you want to be where, where, you know, everybody is. Like Sniper Wolf over here. You want to be like where she is. All you ladies want to be where she is. And the moment when you feel like, oh my gosh, somebody's looking at my post. You start getting that feeling inside your head. That endorphins or whatever it's called. Literally making you feel like, oh my gosh, I am somebody. You really want to do that. I would say I, I approve of that because... You want to, people to see your posts. You want people to look look at your stuff and stuff like that. So it's actually a, a good rush that you have, even though you might not get the most recognition. Like you you want everybody to see your video, and at the same time you feel good that you posted it and somebody's watching it, and somebody's looked at it and somebody liked it. As a matter of fact, even a like alone makes you feel like you are literally on top of the entire dang world. Let's get it. I'm gorgeous, a goddess, a model. Ooh, I'm beautiful. But are you getting paid for it? Are you even making money? What is the point? Just for the sole purpose of likes? Like, her whole entire life revolves around likes on her pics. How is your self-esteem gonna be so high and then you go to somebody else's Facebook and they get a hundred likes on their pics? What are you gonna do? Aren't you gonna feel like shit? <laughs> I feel like she's the type of person that would like hella care. I always <laughs> worry about my Facebook getting hacked or someone stealing my phone. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you're at home all day on the couch holding on to your phone. Who's gonna steal it? Who's gonna hack your Facebook? You get 26 likes on your pic. Yeah, man, there's a lot of people out there that are gonna wanna hack you. I like how she's. Only 26 people are gonna care. Yeah, but who's gonna steal it? Like, she's freaking out over over nothing. Nobody's going to steal your phone, Chica, because one, you're in the house. Like, like some people say, you're in the house. Two, nobody's going to be going into your house not unless they're robbing your house. And three, you're in the house. You're in the house. You, What is she worried about? Just, like, sitting there thinking about it, like, it's today the day. Today the day. I'm going to get hacked. I hope I don't get hacked. I don't know what I would do if I get hacked. So I'm very cautious about having it on me when I sleep. When I'm with my phone at night, I hold it in my hand with my strap on it. I'll be sleeping, and most of the time my phone's just in my hand. A phone strap? She has a phone strap to put in her hand when she goes to sleep? When I'm asleep, and I'm just checking up on my, on my stats, on my st statistics, and of course some other stocks, I literally have my phone in my hand right here, and then at some point when I'm like late at night sleeping, I'm tired, I'll go like this. Oh, out of that! At that moment, I would start thinking, okay, you know what? Put it down somewhere, just go to sleep. I don't want to crack my phone. It's an iPhone. I don't want to crack it. Come on. To connect her phone to her hand. 
while she's sleeping. Like, baby, I'll never let go of you. And most of the time, my phone's just in my hand. She got a stronger relationship with her phone than most people do with another human. Like, dead ass, a phone strap. My phone's just in my hand. Not for one minute. I sleep with my phone and everything. Just in case somebody likes my pick when I'm asleep, it'll vibrate and I'll feel it. My biggest fear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a pause moment. Let's just hear that part again. What did she just say? Phone and everything. Just in case somebody likes my pick when I'm asleep, it'll vibrate and I'll feel it. <laughs> I won't be able to have personal relationships. With That's self-explanatory. Don't hit me. I need help. I want a normal life. At least she acknowledges I need help. Let's read her tweets. Yeah. I can't get off YouTube. I laugh my ass off. Help me. I laugh my ass off. I literally hire my friend to buy me groceries because I won't leave my house. I'm crazy. Wow, she got. Hire me. <laughs> really hired your friend to buy your groceries for you. I mean, there's actual. That's actual job now. I mean, you can like Uber Eats. You don't really have to like you know leave like we don't feel like leaving the house which is understandable i mean that's nowadays people like that nowadays especially internet the internet is literally taking over so at some point some people will be thinking oh my gosh i don't feel like going to the store or going to mcdonald's or going to chick-fil-a or going to any other restaurant i want to go out there i might have to go for uber eats or maybe I had to go for like a maybe doordash you know <laughs> and food and uh, like all that stuff and then you're just thinking like where is this world going to when it comes to stuff like this and if you look at this right here, pretty much right, right here, like laugh my tail off. I literally hired my friend to buy me groceries because I won't leave my house. I'm crazy. At least she admits she's crazy. But at the same time, I'm like, if you want to, <laughs> if any of my friends want me to buy like their stuff, like they got to pay me good money. Not, not just for the food alone, but also gas money. Because if you live far away, I got to drive all the way to where you are. I got to put gas in my own car just to get to where you are. So I need to know <laughs> how much you're giving me. And it's not 40. It's a little bit more than that. Probably 60 or 70. Not one whole like. I'm always on my phone 24-7, so it kind of feels like I don't think normal people are supposed to be on their phone so much. Damn, she's 17 years Oh, she's 17. Here's an idea. You could start by taking off that phone strap. And not using your phone. Uninstall face. I just realized that. She's 17 years old. I'm thinking she, I'm sorry. She looks like she's like 24. I'm thinking, I'm right here thinking this chica is like 24 years old. Like, I'm thinking like, you serious? But no, she's 17 years old. She looked 24. She looks a little older than that. And yet she's, she's having these problems. Facebook, uninstall Twitter, get a job? Isn't she in school? She's 17. She has no responsibilities. That's why she's on her phone the whole day. 17? And she hires her friend to get groceries. The fuck? Where are her parents? Do you not have parents, Chloe? And Do you not notice when she screamed? It's not real, no, okay. Do you not notice when she screamed? Would you be in the same room with her? Or in the house when you realize, oh, I'm taking your phone away. Guess what? Gone. Ah! <laughs> Screaming. You're going to scream. I'm not staying in the same room if you're going to keep doing that to me. The fact that I can't go anywhere without my phone, and I really... Can't just, go anywhere, period. You know, I can't do anything without it. Most of us can't go anywhere without our phone. You're not special. When it's not with me, it doesn't... I don't feel complete, and I feel very scared. Okay, same. That is reasonable. I like how she brought her little thing. To Dr. Phil, like, I hope this stays on my finger. She, so said, I don't she brought it. that. You actually have to have a, a strap to you. Are you looking at it now? Yeah. Sorry, I just got a like on Facebook. <laughs> Sorry. Trying my hardest to keep it. Yeah, can I see your phone? Sure. Yeah. Well, I swear if you scream, <laughs> I swear if you scream. Can I see it? Sure. You better not scream when I take that phone. You better not. I, I repeat, you better not. What, what would you do if your phone just went away right now? Damn, he won't. <laughs> oh, if Dr. Phil is serious, he, if, <laughs> I feel like he's going to do it. If Dr. Phil is so serious, he's going to do that. 
I don't like to see. You know what? I, before I was like, I don't want to see your scream. Now I want to see your scream. Go ahead. <laughs> Why baby just disappears? You won't. You won't do it, Doctor Phil. You won't. Why if he just throws that shit? Oh, she gonna have anxiety. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> watch this video, so I don't know. Probably cry. You'd, you'd freak? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, thank you. You won't! And what's your payoff? <laughs> oh my gosh! I was so tempted! I was so tempted to see him throw that freaking phone across the room. I was so tempted for him to throw it. I wanted to see if she was gonna, not just to make fun of her, no, I just want to see if it's actually true. Like, what would have happened? I mean, other than not seeing her cry, of course, no. I mean, no man wants to see a pleasure woman crying, but I just want to see what would happen. I mean, curiosity. Off from being on this phone all the time. Wow. On Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I get 500 to 1,000 likes on each picture. <gasps> what? 500 to 1,000 likes on each picture. Stop the cow. <laughs> Stop the cow right now. Stop the cow. Why are you sitting here lying, Chloe? He showed. At this point, I think she really is just doing this just for likes. Publicity sake. For clout. This chica. Legit. Just said. She got like 26 likes on a post, and yet she's on Dr. Phil's show, the good old Dr. Phil himself, and she's lying to him, saying that she has like over 26,000. No, you got 26 likes. She didn't realize there was like literally a huge... Like, montage of her previous experience with her not having a phone around. And, of course, how many did she really have on her, her Facebook? Receipts. Look at this. She's lying, guys. Look, right there. 47 likes. Have personal 47 likes on Twitter. You get one like on a good day. 500 to 1,000 likes on each picture comment anything like that and it makes me feel really good about myself yeah okay you're not getting that many likes but it feels like you're getting that many likes don't it <laughs> like look back at my previous live stream even though it may not be the best i'll admit that but even though 16 views i see how i meant that 16 views on that video i've had 17 views on that video on that live stream even I am willing to admit that because I'm not afraid of that. I mean, I'm letting you know. I'd rather let you guys know how many people I'm having on my channel than I'm making up some number. Some big time numbers. That, oh, I got 60,000 people watching my live streams all the time. You look back at my YouTube channel and you see I only have like two live streams and one of them has 16 and another one has like 32. At that point, you don't want to follow me because you think this dude is a liar. I wish it was that easy. Get a bunch of likes. Ooh, I feel good about myself. Guys. I need your help. I want to try this. Like this video so I can feel good about myself. And if I feel good about myself, you can feel good about yourself. You'll post something up and you'll get 500 to 1,000 people that give you a thumbs up. Yes. And do you know these 1,000 people? No. Yeah, see, even Dr. Phil hit that like button in the face. And you have become addicted to their thumbs up. Basically, yes. You don't know who they are. No. So why don't you take that thumbs up and shove it up your family friendly? I'm just kidding. She seems like a nice girl. <laughs> Before I found Facebook. I'm, yeah, and all's fair in this, guys. Yeah, she's 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 a nice. I can, I feel like she's a nice girl. I got a vibe of that. I'm glad Sniper Wolf mentioned that because I feel like it may seem like she's like <clears throat> being like pretty much all what's it called, Gaga. <laughs> But uh, even I can go ahead and understand that she's a nice girl. I mean, she just want her phone. She just want internet. That's all she wants. And like, um, she just wants to be like recognized. She, I mean, don't get me wrong. She's a she's a gorgeous woman. She's a gorgeous young lady. She's seventeen, of course. She's a gorgeous young lady. But at the same time, many people, many of us have our own insecurities that we want to feel like we're wanted. Like she might not even have a boyfriend at this moment, even though after the way she screamed, I don't under, I don't blame him. But. <laughs> But at the same time, you, you gotta feel like she's still a good girl. She's still a good young lady. She don't want to do anything bad. She just want 
like people to like her stuff. I, f- I feel like she might have just went on Dr. Phil just so she can get people to like her stuff. Like, just to like it. Nonetheless. I mean, like, even up there, like, see, before she get like 26 or 47 likes on Facebook, here she on with Dr. Phil. Yeah, so she might get like 2,000, 800,000, pretty much all the way up to 800 uh, million or something like that. And pretty much like, okay, okay, I went on Dr. Phil and I got this much. She might be doing it for cloud reasons. She might be doing it for other reasons. I don't know. When I was younger and before I found that, oh, I could post a picture and get a like, I never had a good self-esteem. I was always bullied in high school, so. She's 17. She's still in high school. Who hasn't been bullied in high school? Hold up. I'm not buying it. I'm not. She's like pretty. Who the hell's going to bully her? Seriously? Yeah, okay. The amount of tension that I have on Facebook or Instagram, it makes me have a high self-esteem. But if you don't get enough likes, you crash. That's true. So it's a two-sided sword. It's like, oh, if I get a ton of likes, I feel great. But if I don't get a lot of likes, I'm ugly! It's kind of like Fortnite. If I win, feels great, man. If I lose, Sucks. It, it is high, like right now, then if I don't get a lot of likes, it goes down. Did you try to get our Wi-Fi password? Yes. <laughs> did they give it to you? Yes. They did? God damn it! Whoever gave her that Wi-Fi, y'all get- Whoever gave the chick of the Wi-Fi password, fire him. Or her. Why? <laughs> I'm fired! You are enabling an addict! He ain't, he ain't happy about it, you like- Tonight. We got this girl in. Dr. Phil's probably going like, right, right. Well, I'm going to, um, after we're done with this show, I'm definitely going to find whoever he or she did give you the Wi-Fi password. And uh, I'm going to deduct that from the paycheck. Yes. Yeah, sure. For her Wi-Fi <laughs> addiction. That's like giving an alcoholic a shot before they do the show. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't having it. Look, at, look at that face he gives the camera. Yes. <laughs> like, oh my god, how could you? Really? <laughs> Y'all ruining this show. We're trying to help this young lady, and you guys are not helping. You're enablers. <laughs> how could you get her the Wi Fi? Y'all ruined my whole treatment. Therapy fired. My staff enabled you <laughs> by giving you the Wi Fi password. I think. No, 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 don't try to take it back. Give him the name. I want names. <laughs> I think they know that I get really upset if I don't have it. <laughs> oh. 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 I want names. Oh. <laughs> Someone's oh. losing their job today. <laughs> so that bothered them. Oh, I, I didn't tell them that. I just said, oh, do you have a Wi-Fi password? And they're like, yeah. Yeah, they probably didn't know the yeah. whole story. Yeah, they probably didn't know who she was, probably. But still! Because <laughs> I wouldn't have given it to you. <laughs> Whoever gave her the Wi-Fi password, y'all ruined this whole show. We're going to have to cut to commercial. No, you know what? Cut the whole damn show. And it's over. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Do y'all have a problem with social Wait, what? Social media and being on social media 24-7. And make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Now, if you want my opinion on this, guys, I would say... I think it's okay for you to be on social media. Really. Like, it's a new day and age. Before back then, before internet was invented. And, like, you know, we had computers and, you know, tele teleprompters and stuff like that. And video games. I mean, let's be honest here. Like nowadays, people are, it's, it's a new age. We can't really hate it. We can't really hate technology. I mean, sometimes it's annoying, but who, who in this world isn't annoying at times or get annoyed at the point? But if you ask me, I think, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's okay, but not 24 7. I mean, at that point, you need, you need to like literally just put down the phone, just do something different. Like go, go outside, smell the fresh air, look at the green grass. And smell the local cappuccino in like next door neighbor espresso at the Starbucks. Kind of had to go out there, just it, it just explore life. I'm, I'm surprised she actually has quote unquote friends to help her out there. I'm not being rude, and I'm not even being a dirtbag.
like a dirt bag, it's because you're a dirt bag, right? So, so just own it. Just say it out loud. I am a dirt bag. Over here, looking for my hat, and it's right below me. I literally just was moving around a lot, guys. I apologize for that. Oh, by the way, uh, put down in the comments down below what you guys got for Christmas. Uh, I tried to say that in a lot of other live stream. They work out well. This is what I got for Christmas. A friend of mine gave me a dragon pendant, which is amazing. I love it. Thank you so much. It's a great event. I love it. Everything with dragons in it. By the way, guys, not to mention, I also got some new uh, merch designs, too. I'll be able to post that at some point. If you guys want to see the new merch designs, which are going to be on my joggers actually pretty soon, and on new shirts as well, go ahead and watch the full video at the end of the, like, watch until the end of the video, and I'll be able to pop it up at some points. I'm not going to spoil it for you until we watch it. Right now, we're going to be watching Five Black Belts and versus Two Fakes. Odd one out. And it's about the Jubilee, so let's check it out. Okay. The stunts in this video were performed by trained martial artists with supervision of a medic on set. Please do not try this at home. I would also like to mention and add I am not a black belt yet. I am actually a brown belt in um, karate and a uh, blue belt in taekwondo. So I'm not really, I will be pretty much put into the fakes. But I'm, I mean, I am a martial artist. So I have been training other martial arts styles. I'm actually working towards my black belt and my, my karate. So that's also cool too. So let's carry on. Together, seven black belts. I am a black. Oh dang! Guys, I'm in love. <laughs> the blue hair chica, she definitely can kick. She 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 can do a split. Hold it up there. You cannot say she's not a black belt. I, I mean, she earned it. I'm going to go ahead and say on the limb, she's a black belt. <laughs> I'm a black belt. I'm a black belt. I am a black belt. I'm a black belt. I'm a black belt. I am a black belt. All right. Two of them are liars. If the group discovers both liars, they'll split a cash prize. If any of the liars survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? All right. <laughs> I guess we'll do it real quick. The, the most generic thing. How long have everybody been training? What your martial art is? We can yeah. just go straight yeah. down the line. My name's Andre. I've been training for eight years. I do Taekwondo. I'm Jessica, and I also do Taekwondo for about a decade, more than that. My name is Keith Hudson, and I've been training for six years now in Karate and Taekwondo. My name is Victoria. I've been training for like over ten years now, and I do Kaji Kimbo. I came on here to like bring representation to the style. Adriana, I've been doing it for like fifty years. Uh, taekwondo, third degree. My name is Casey. Hey. I have been doing Hapkido for nine years. My name is Anthony Cruz, and I've been doing Jiu Jitsu for about ten years. A lot of Taekwondo though, people, huh? And, uh, yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and say this. One, dude. Nice hair. Two. Okay. Um, the girl with the blue, the blue hair. Uh, girl. I'm sorry. Uh, that's pretty much the nickname I'm gonna give her. Blue. Uh, <laughs> she can pretty much say. I mean, she's third degree. And those of you who are not familiar with martial arts, when you there's actually um rankings that works in this stuff. So let's say for instance, if you are a um, black belt, that doesn't necessarily mean you are a um master it means you are a black belt you really are learning and understanding the fundamentals of the style that you are partaking and um if you are a third degree black belt which is what she says she is then you are one belt away from actually becoming a master see a fourth degree black belt is actually a master belt that's when you actually get it and of course um you get a um <clears throat> you're only a grandmaster if you reached your 10th degree black belt so it depends on how well the person is with their skill, with their style, and stuff like that. So she's obviously a third degree. She's one. She's like literally one belt away from becoming a master. So I, and I, I think we all are gonna agree that this chica is definitely a uh, uh, <coughs> a master. <laughs> all right, and uh, we got some brown belt or oh, black belts. Uh, what what got you all into martial arts? I played a lot of fighting games as a kid. So get, bah, 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 hitting stuff. Uh, one day the table mother was furious she was like we have to take this energy somewhere else and the next day she enrolled me in uh, taekwondo gym can we go ahead and say uh the blue hair girl is the only one that mentioned what degree she is while the rest is told everybody else what style they're in and how long they've been in like studying that style 
Mm. When we were all online, Andre was talking to himself, and I think he was going over his head to make sure he's not going to miss a cue. A lot of Jackie Chan growing up, and I was like, I want to join like karate, like whatnot, kung fu. My dad was a black belt. I got indoctrinated when I was five. Go. My dad put me in it to like learn self defense. That was pretty quick. Okay, I mean, I understand that was a time limit, but that was pretty quick. <laughs> but that was a blackout. I got Dr. Riddick. Go. My dad did Aikido when I was younger, and I said that I wanted to be like him. Dad didn't want to be, want me to be a ballerina, so that's why he put me in Aikido. I loved MMA and the UFC. I want to have a better understanding of it, so I got into Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, time's up. Time's up. A little too specific with the lamp story, which is kind of a dead giveaway when people are lying. Dang. I felt like Anthony was suspicious because <laughs> the way he was like instigating the conversation. Well, Chica, I mean, he's instigating because he wants to know who's the fake. I mean, the money is literally at stake here. I mean, I mean, yeah, I would instigate too. That's like Survivor. You. You gotta weed out whoever you think is gonna be either a threat or a liability. So, man, I potato potato. You know, if you ask me, I would think. Ooh, man. I mean, I don't know why would somebody immediately think Adriana, the blue haired girl, Michika. I don't know who would think. Was it, was it Anthony? Of course. I don't know why would this dude think she is the fake or the imposter here. Let me. Literally, that 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 shouldn't cross his mind. Do you not? Okay, clearly this at the very beginning. But I hope he will take back his answer when he see how she like performs. Cause we just saw a preview of what she performed in, so you know she knows what to do. <laughs> oh, sorry. See you, Anthony. Peace, dude. I'm gonna talk fighting games with you later. <laughs> this is round two, the martial arts round. You will each have about 30 seconds to demonstrate your martial arts and prove to the others that you are a black belt. Anything I'm not going to that... throw it, don't worry. Okay, all right. <laughs> Say less, <laughs> get it. bad what was so bad if you ask me they will pretty much consider you the master in this entire group out of all seven they will both definitely pick you for any future fights i mean i'm loving this chica she definitely got my blades my swords matter of fact get one of my swords out just for right now right blue dragon just get just so you guys can see it right there blue dragon let me know what that means. I don't know. I took some classes long ago. Now I don't know. Yes! <laughs> now, I will say this. I'm allowed to say this too. I am also a practitioner of Taekwondo, ATA martial arts. Um, her skill is very calming. I know you would like to see like pretty much how the uh, blue haired girl is. Uh, Adriana? Wow, I better remember her name. Otherwise, you would think I don't really care. <laughs> uh, I mean, her style is like great. But um, of course, I mean, she knows the Kia. And it's always like this every single time. We get new people coming in. They don't kia. Like kia. Like, you know, like to extinguish the force, the power behind it. And um, many people go like, yeah, I, su, huh. And I'm like, 
That's not going to fly during tournaments. I can tell you that much. It's not going to fly during tournaments. And it's not me acting all like uh, egotistical. Uh, now nah, I'm literally giving you my my two cents because literally this is literally what it is. Because if if it was her versus her in a um tournament, obviously would have picked the blue hair girl because well she did all that. It was even though she said she messed up at a certain point, she did not stop. She kept going. And the martial art as also as an actor as well, you do not show your your audience that you screwed up. You got to keep going. You got to let them know that hey. I may have screwed up, but I still am in this game. So don't kick me out or test me out. So let's go. Her form seemed kind of like basic. And I thought since she did like Taekwondo, she would do like a lot of kicks and stuff. So I'm going to talk as if I'm... That's also true. I'm not sure that that's what their editing did. They didn't like show the part where she was kicking. But even though you should know, she's supposed to do some side kicks, some front kicks. The style I did with uh, Taekwondo... They were a lot of kicks. We did like both stuff, uh, both stuff like jump bomb pumses and like we like double nunchaku as well. But one thing you cannot like, it's always like this. We always practice stretching. Like to, before when I was working at ATM martial arts and training there, I was able to do middle splits. I need to get back to my middle splits, guys. Let send me to a video that literally literally helped me with middle splits because I really want to get back to it. I, I miss doing that. My, my balls touch the ground and my legs spread out like this. Pop. <laughs> Like on the floor and I can just what like, is like, no I mean I can do a front split just help me help me teach you a normal class mm. can you come into this is called oh. garden jiu-jitsu it's one of the most uh it's one of the martial arts that teaches you how to be offensive on the ground I'm gonna teach what's called a triangle choke and to do a triangle choke it's a very it's a very fundamental process but you use it from white to black belt he showed a jiu-jitsu move and it seemed like very rehearsed and it was something that anyone could essentially learn that if they went to a couple classes or trained a little bit in jiu-jitsu boom and i lock up here and now i have this my leg go across the neck pull the head down and pitch my hips up and that's it and if he doesn't tap he goes to sleep in six seconds <laughs> that sound i mean yeah that could definitely be the case but I feel like he really is a, a like an instructor. I feel like he really is an instructor. Like I really don't think he's like scripted or he's like because he, all that was too precise. Like it was too precise. You you even if it was for that one day, it's too precise for you to start saying like, well, like I'm, if I choke him, like if I put my leg right here and I choke him out, like if I if he if he taps, I let him go. If he doesn't tap, then he's out with six seconds. Like, like I I'm not a practitioner in jujitsu. I have learned some jujitsu techniques, like the arm bar and stuff like that, the guillotine, you know. But uh, I, I am, I really need to get, find some classes to do that because I'm, I'm a well-rounded martial artist, and I really like to like find new styles to help me. Like for instance, Pac May. If you guys haven't seen the video I did react to before, Bailo, uh, Bailo up here is um to the gameplay of a uh, Shifu, which is actually a uh, a dude who's literally a uh, martial artist in the style of what I thought was. What I presume was Wing Chun was actually Pac Mei. It's actually a behind the scenes trailer when I also reacted to the trailer itself. Now let's take this chica out. Oh! Oh! Yeah, the hell for real. I hope you're wearing a cup. I forgot to wear cups every time I go to the dojo. Pull the hair! Oh, and a sleeper hole, and it's next snap! <laughs> next snap! Oh! oh. No, but wait, 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 wait. Before we carry on, I got to critique. I don't think she, I mean, I, I don't think she's, like, uh, faking either. I think she might be a black belt. Like, she did all that like it was second nature. Like, I feel like... Some of the fakes may be like like practitioners in the style that they represent. I'm not saying they're fake martial artists. I'm saying that like they're literally in the style of martial arts. I feel like they are um like maybe like in intermediate style. Like they might be blue belts, maybe green belts, maybe orange belts. Like they're like below the black belt range. They're in the style, but they're in the below black belt range. I think the last previous group before Victoria here is actually a black belt. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah! That's my belt right there. Oh, board breaking. I know it's gonna look awkward. I'm looking down this way, and he's right there. They're right there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's going for a second. Okay. Hey! Okay. And that's it. I have a lot of friends that have learned how to stop spin, saber spin, and stunt actors, but they're not black belts. That's messed up. How I fight is just as good as how um, Adrian is. And this dude saying... She may be skilled, but I don't think she's actually a black belt. But I hate to break it to you, bro. But her performance was a lot better than yours. And everybody was pretty much more suspicious of yours than they were of hers. She kicked high. Do you know how long it takes to do a high kick? Do you know how long it takes to practice with a sword? And not be afraid for you to get cut at any point? Even if it was a plastic sword or a fake sword or a real sword either way it takes true skill to do that stuff and I, I literally will use these or my commas which I will not bring out right now because I need to know where I put them thing <laughs> she fell for Anthony <laughs> and he even used the words everyone uses this from white belt all the way up to black belt did I think he did jujitsu absolutely did I think he was a black belt no Dang! See, I told you! I told you! Oh no, same baby made bad. I wish I had a great hair like that. Everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole. You can end the game now, but if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Because I have respect for you. I I am the mole. Huh? What? <laughs> What the freak? I am not a black belt. Not yet. But I want to be. My do. I have much respect for this dude. The dude not only bowed for respect, but he also said that he's the mole. He literally risked his own chances of winning that money. This dude, this is a rarity. You guys don't find people like this in a rarity. Literally, martial arts is the next key thing for discipline. It's rare for you to find somebody that was willing to do something like this. I'm not saying everybody should like bow down and like, you know, no all that stuff. But I'm just saying like to like admit when they realize it doesn't feel right. It's kind of like you, it's kind of like you going into a competition and you want to do the best you can. And you do. But the person who you're like sparring against. Or actually like you want to do the best you can. But you did half the best. And then you're going against somebody who wants to do doing all their best. It doesn't really feel right when you don't really earn it. If you don't remember what I'm saying. Check out Bakugo versus Todoroki. You understand what I'm saying? And... I don't feel comfortable deceiving any of you guys. You guys are fantastic. And I can't lie. I can't. So, I humbly apologize. And I'm sorry for deceiving you guys. Is that, is that, is this legit? Is it? You guys still have four minutes. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, I should just do a combine. I was just going to ask like, for proper sidekick technique. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. I haven't done it in 10 years, so honestly, I could never even do a sidekick. So I kind of suspected it because you're super martial arts nerd. Yeah. But like, I, I don't mean that in like a bad way, but I was like, he's so nerdy about it. Like, I feel like he's kind of fresh ish. So, where are you at now? Yeah. Yeah, what belt are you? Us the whole I just got my first advanced belt. Uh, in the summer, uh, I trained during the pandemic. I started training back in martial arts in 2019. I was a smoker and a drinker through my 20s, mm -hmm. and I needed to turn my life around. And 
Wow. Oh, God, I got it. Got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my Guys, put down in the comments that you respect Keith. You know, if it was up to me, I would make him in a black belt in a heartbeat. Because that is true skill, true courage, and true discipline. You never find people like this like that anymore. Really. People like that, it's, it's a rarity. Many people will literally go straight, like they will literally fake it to the make it to get to where they are and still don't have no dang clue how they got there. And here's Keith right here who just admitted that he's the mole. He's not a black belt. He's a petitioner of the style and both the styles, but he's not a mole, but he's not a black belt. Do you know how, do you know how hard it is to admit something like that? This dude is literally MVP. You know what? I don't care. They, they, I know they're like, they're going like, like, is it legit? Is this real? This is happening? Like, is he, is he really apologizing? Like, is this really happening? Yes, it's really happening. The dude just admit he's not a black belt. He's going to be there soon. I mean, the way he is, much respect for Keith. And, I, and much respect for him. Even though he said he was a smoker, he was a drinker, he went through some problems. I mean, respect. I wanted to be honest. I felt it here. This game is fun, and I didn't mean to just, you know, <laughs> just give up, but... You guys are so good. And you inspire me. And I can't lie to the people who inspire me. Dang. Again? First of all, what the freak does this mean? Second, I really feel bad though. I really feel bad. Like, it just makes you think differently right now. I mean, this dude literally just opened up everybody's mind. I mean, I know it may not seem much to you guys, but people who have a heart understands that. People who don't, pretty much don't care. Keith, I'm a brown belt about to go on a black belt. You're a black belt to everybody's eyes, including mine, dude. Much respect and much respect for you going over, like conquering your fears and your, <clears throat> your previous traumas of being a smoker and a drinker. Really. Hats off. And... Like, well, and to just congratulations, man. I mean, you really have made it far. And I really am sorry you ratted yourself out. But at the same time, you earn everybody's respect. We do have two moles. So please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. <laughs> Starting now, for every time all of you vote out someone that is not the mole, the prize money will be reduced by half. Oh, the only Dang. reason I want to continue is you did say like, oh, I haven't, as soon as I mentioned like sidekick technique, I'm like, oh, I haven't done it in a long time, so no. I don't know. Honestly, I could never even do a sidekick. Uh, the form was like a very basic kind of color belt form, because, and in tech oh. like. Okay, I'm sorry to say this too. I didn't want to say anything at that, because I didn't want to point out the obvious fact here that, you know, she looks like she's inclined to do a sidekick. And she said that she is, and she's been doing like Taekwondo for like years. And she's a uh, like saying she's a black belt. And if you're a black belt, I hate to break it to you, but even if you are inclined, like not inclined to do it, you still have to do the workouts, the splits, and the tricks, and all of that. I had a gigantic man who was our teacher, our sensei, sit on me because uh, but sit on me while I'm in a middle split. He like this. Hey, little buddy. Hey, buddy. You you going down? You going down? You gonna look like you're getting there. You getting there? Almost there. Okay. Well, guess what? Let me go ahead and just little just sit down right here. Let's go take a part. That's nothing compared to what they do in Korea. They will literally push you down. Even in China, in monk, like Shaolin Monk Monasteries, they will literally pull, push you down until your balls are touching the ground. Literally, balls to the ground, guess what? 
It's going to happen. So the ball's the ball, it's going to be balls to the ground. Uh, wow. I mean, and she's saying she don't can't she can't do a proper sidekick. I'm sorry, but like you, you, you should be able to do a psychic by now, Chica. I mean, you, you don't have any excuse to not do a psychic. Like you have all the time, like all the times you've been in Taekwondo, you have all the time to do this, and you're saying right now you can't do it. You should be at the same level as Adriana right now, same level. Like you should be, and I'm not gonna lie, I really did expect you to be a, a, the imposter to fake too. I mean, I mean. I think you are a petitioner in it, but I don't think you are like there yet. In my in my studio, it's second degree. Wait, what's your style though? My style? Oh shoot! Like honestly, like, like when it was never explained to me. My you don't know what style you're training under. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, Blue Dragon, but uh, daggone it. Uh... Oh, yeah, she's the mole. Vote her out. Get her out of here. Get... was never the most professional. I just think when Victoria asked you what style you did, it did take yeah, you nah. a while to respond. Because it's just right away, oh, I do have keto. If you're a black belt, you can easily explain how to do a side kick. Yeah. Side kick is a basic kick. It is, right? but my kick was never as good as No, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't matter the yeah, height. Yeah, as long just, as you can... It's like muscle memory. <laughs> okay. That was good. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna say, did you, <laughs> you should have done that, and we wouldn't have been suspecting it would be you. But <laughs> she's like, "Oh, right, I can't do a second that good." And well, <laughs> maybe afterwards you might actually um, you, you, might, you might want to talk to Adriana and get some like like some lessons, some tips, in order to help you get that higher kick. I mean, if that's really what you want. To be honest, as long as you can kick and like. To a um, belt up range level, you are good for a side kick. You don't have to kick like to head level or above head level. Cause me, I kick to head and above. Like I'm six foot two, so I kick above that. I kick like to like almost six foot nine, almost seven foot. I can kick up to like to this light bulb that's in my room. Um, with the ease, like I can just do it with ease. But I'm not saying I'm gonna hold it up there. Nah, I mean I can hold it for like a good three seconds and then bring it back. Like rechamber and just bring it back. But she should have done that at the beginning. Like we would have thought we would have oh she might be real, but but not the I mean in the years we've been doing Taekwondo, Taekwondo this fundamentals are mainly but mostly just kicks. Like most of the time we were going through kicking drills. Of course we're going through some techniques, but also mainly kicking drills. Cause Taekwondo meaning the way of the feet. Domain way. Yes. Yeah, so the okay, pretty good. Is really just like pretty good. Like yeah, like you could have done that at the very beginning. There's people that I've met that are literally like they're blind, they're paralyzed, yeah. whatever, and they can teach and they can explain the technique down to a T. If that yeah. makes sense. No, that makes sense. So it's just like it's not to be like offensive yeah, of or course, anything. No, no, no. It's just you know what I mean. It's, it's just game. things that like that we think of. Yeah, no, you're like, pinpointing them out and like um, I honestly thought that all of y'all were like pretty real and I thought we caught. Uh, Andre oh. and Keith and like the guys I thought they were the moles. You know, we're all professional in a sense. I'm gonna change the subject. We're all about you right now, Chica. It's for you. I'm not too sure of Victoria's technique because I'm not, I like, I don't have any knowledge of that. I'm voting, uh, yeah, Jessica. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. It's Jessica. Because, like we attacked Jessica, but I asked her what martial arts style she did and she like stuttered and she that that too but can you also agree to the fact that before she actually like victoria when she when everybody was asking jessica well like like what style did she do like uh, about a sidekick and stuff like that no kicking in her entire style that she demonstrated at least during what we can see from this point of, of, of our side can we all go ahead and point the fact that victoria moved over to like <laughs> the other two like just like everybody's gathered up and just ganged up on jessica i feel sorry for her on that part she didn't know and i was like isn't that why we're here yep I understand. It's a game, y'all. It's a game. Yeah. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Hey! Good job. Good job.
I knew she was a mole. I knew it. I'm so bad saying that, but I knew it. Will the fake black belts both please step forward and reveal yourselves in three, two, one? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, she wasn't. Oh, oh, now I feel like a tail hole. She was, she was the black belt. Okay, she's the black belt. I, I mm. but I mean, can you? I mean, I'm sorry, but the freak. You, you, I mean, at some point, you gotta kick high and tackle and know if you're a black belt. I mean, <laughs> my dad was a black belt, and when we were young, uh, he put me in a school in Sherwood, Arkansas. Danny Drinks, Living Defense Martial Arts Dojo. Uh, yeah, so I do martial arts. Uh, I've, like, I'm self-taught with, like, weapons and everything. I do Muay Thai, like, formally. Sick. That's, like, the formal thing that I do. Can like, so, we do the punches like, no in the beginning? It was, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, Where you're, like, oh, more, like oh, fighting, oh, and I was like, yeah. mm. <laughs> well, I think like, <laughs> 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 yeah, there's a Muay Thai strike right there. Phone knee strike. Dude, I want to see his demo. Yeah. Hey! 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 I say he's a circus performer too. Hey! Oh, hey! 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 Oh! Oh! End of the game. And we want to thank you all for participating and give you all a gift. Aww, I love Trump Thank you. They plug their crap. <laughs> yes, people get surprised when they find out I'm a black belt. I don't really volunteer the information. I love martial arts. I love teaching it. I love being able to spread it. It doesn't matter what age you are, what body size you are. Anyone can become a black belt as long as you put the work to it. Guys, exactly. Make one incorrect vote, so I need to take half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, the, you still want money. I mean, share it, share it, share it. Uh, get it, share it. You know it. I want it. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh John, that's my girl. I'm doing this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. I'll put it a little bit higher so you can see my face. And subscribe. So and then hit the notification bell for any more future videos coming up later on my channel. Once again, guys, I apologize for the live stream for the previous part. I was just trying to just test something out. I mean, it's 2022. I really want to start doing live streaming. I really hope this right here can motivate you guys to come back on the show, back onto my channel, and just to chat with me, you know. I apologize that the, it was lagging and stuff like that, but other than that, I, I didn't disappoint you guys by bringing up these two videos. I said I was going to react to those two videos, and I am going to react to it today, and I did. And so, I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Oh, by the way, if you guys really want to purchase the merch to help support the channel, contest, the giveaway, the free shirt giveaway is still on the way, still on the way. You guys can still come up here and just, you know, uh, purchase the shirt if you want to. The link is in the description down below, like it says right here in the video, breaking and forth wall. Anyway, guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. Peace out. Bailo.